Bronco, Combat, Systems Bronco 2. Light Attack, Close Air, Support, Aircraft. The Bronco Combat Systems, Bronco 2, is a rebranded version of the original Paramount Group Harlick, Mwari, Close Air Support, Light Attack Platform, of South African origin. The new Bronco 2 emerged through AU.S focused rebranding in 2018 set against a USAF light attack requirement and is currently, 2020, being marketed for consideration to fulfill the United States Special Operations Command, armed overwatch light strike requirement. Lidos is leading the team with Paramount Group, US, and Vertex Aerospace's subcontractors. The flying portion of the competition is set to begin November 2020. The aircraft maintains compact dimensions that allow it to be broken down and shipped by Lockheed C-130 Hercules turboprop-powered tactical transports. A single example can fit in its hold. Up to two aircraft can be transported through the larger Boeing C-17 Globemaster III series jet-powered strategic transports. The engine is buried within the aft section of the fuselage nacelle and drives a multi-bladed propeller unit at the rear in a pusher arrangement. This leaves the forward section, and its accompanying views, completely unobstructed by spinning propeller blades. Sikorsky HH-60W Jolly Green II Combat Rescue Helicopter For decades during the Cold War period, 1947 to 1991, the United States Air Force Service operated converted Sikorsky CH-3 seeking helicopters in the dedicated combat rescue role under the designation of HH-3 Jolly Green Giant. These helicopters more than prove their worth in a storied career running from 1967 until 1995, seeing action in global conflicts such as the Vietnam War, 1955 to 1975, and the Persian Gulf War, 1991. From this work spawned the massive HH-53 Super Jolly Green Giant, built from the Sikorsky MH-53 series, and these operated with the USAF until September 2008. The Jolly Green II was named in a ceremony in February 2020, honoring the Jolly Green crews of previous generations who established the excellence and capability expected of the USAF combat rescue crews today. Sikorsky Aircraft Corporation falls under the parent brand of Lockheed Martin. Jolly Green II will feature a slew of modern, advanced systems to better aid rescuers in contested areas and day night environments and varying weather situations. The platform has inherently long range, with double the internal fuel stores of the original Black Hawk, for a rotary wing platform and built-in countermeasures to help stay alive, all designed to meet exacting United States Air Force specifications for their new helicopter. Weapons support is broader than previous iterations through what is billed as a flexible weapon system. Boeing MH-139 Multi-Mission Medium Lift Military Helicopter The MH-139 is a Boeing modified version of the successful Italian-originated AW-139 series of medium lift helicopters produced by Leonardo. It is intended to compete in the newly announced United States Air Force's UH-1 Antoine Huey replacement program. The UH-1N, Model 212 is its civilian market equivalent, is a twin-engined model of the original Vietnam-era single-engined Huey transport gunship. However, its design is rooted in Cold War-era doctrine, which has required the series to receive regular modernizations to keep the series viable for the short term, a long-term solution by the USAF is now sought. Outwardly, the MH-139 is a sleek offering the inherent benefits of the existing AW-139 with the benefits of Boeing-installed mission equipment. The platform makes use of a two-man crew seated, side-by-side, -side, in an all-modern, all-glass cockpit. Digital color displays dominate the two positions, with a shared console in between. Vision out of the cockpit is excellent thanks to the proven AW-139's design spanning over 1.7 million flight hours in various environments worldwide. The MH-139 was debuted at the 2017 Andrews Air Show. It is in direct competition with Lockheed's Sikorsky UH-60U offering for the Twin Huey replacement program. Sikorsky S-97 Raider Light Class Attack Multi-Role Helicopter Prototype While helicopters have evolved since their mainstream inception in the 1950s, the rotorcraft has remained largely conventional and true to its roots. 
With the advent of the U.S. Army's Armed Aerial Scout program, intended to replace venerable Bell OH-58 Kiowa series, Sikorsky has responded with its S-97 Raider compound rotor concept. The S-97 incorporates a coaxial main rotor configuration, each mounting four blade assemblies, as well as a six-bladed pusher propeller in the tail to achieve stated program goals. The Sikorsky S-97 development is based on its award-winning X-2 technology demonstrator and, in a militarized form, will be capable of strike, troop transport, and fast reconnaissance sorties on the modern battlefield. The Sikorsky product includes a bevy of industry names including Northrop Grumman, Bay Systems, Honeywell, Garmin, Goodrich, Esterline, Comatics, Hamilton Sunstrand, and Amatech among others. Overall dimensions of the S-97 prototype include a running length of 35 feet and a rotor diameter of 33 feet. This compact footprint will allow up to four raiders to be transported to war theaters in the belly of a Lockheed C-17. Gross weight is 8,950 pounds, with a maximum takeoff weight of 11,400 pounds. Performance estimates include a cruise speed of 253 miles per hour, 220 knots, with an operational range of 354 miles, mission endurance time of 2 hours and 40 minutes on internal fuel. The aircraft's service ceiling will be approximately 10,000 feet. Due to the unique design nature of the Raider, the Sikorsky product expects to improve upon maximum speeds, mission endurance times, hover altitude, payload capabilities, acoustic detection levels, and turning radius qualities of conventional rotary wing aircraft. Sikorsky CH-53 Caking Stallion Heavy Lift Transport Helicopter the Sikorsky CH-53K King Stallion represents the latest incarnation of the famous large American CH-53 military helicopter series with origins dating back to the early 1960s. In its initial form, CH-53A, for the United States Marine Corps, the type was evolved into a myriad of other role-specific platforms that went on to see operations with the United States Air Force, the United States Navy, and United States Special Forces groups. The Mammoth helicopter made a name for itself as a multi-bladed, heavy lift system that could be adapted for many battlefield requirements including transport, of both troops and single-unit light vehicles, maritime minesweeping duties, and search and rescue. The newer CH-53K variant is a heavily modernized airframe based on the CH-53 with the program intending to keep the series flying over today's battlefields for decades more. The initiative headed by the United States Marine Corps, who have elected for an all-new version as opposed to a cost-prohibitive upgrade for existing Super Stallion mounts currently in service. Power is where the King Stallion will make its case for it will consist of a triple pairing of three General Electric T408 turboshaft engines each rated at 7,500 shaft horsepower, a massive 22,500 shop collectively. As it stands, the CH-53K weighs 33,200 pounds under empty conditions and this can grow to become 84,700 pounds when under full loads. When armed for in the field operations, the CH-53K will carry a pair of 12.7mm BMG, XM218 series heavy machine guns at the side fuselage windows, an additional 12.7mm .50 BMG, and 3M GAU-21 series heavy machine gun will be manned at the rear cargo ramp when flown with the door ajar. Missile and radar tracking threats will be countered at chaff slash flare dispensers installed at the fuselage. Despite this, at the end of it all, the United States Marine Corps field a technologically superior form of the fabled Super Stallion helicopter line, a system capable of outdoing its predecessors and being called on to perform nearly any over-battlefield over-water function required by the operations typical of the service. General Atomics, Avenger, Predator C. Unmanned Combat Aerial Vehicle The General Atomics Avenger, formerly marked as the Predator C, is one of the newer UAV systems to come online with the United States military, showcasing some of the very latest in UAV technology. The system was developed from the NQ-9 Reaper series, which itself was designed from the lessons learned in the NQ-1 Predator, and is built as a true unmanned combat air vehicle, defining her role more so than previous UAV models. 
The Avenger is a more potent and lethal version of all previous Predator UAVs and should maintain a long and healthy tenure in service to the American military, should her technology live up to her billing. First flight was completed on April 4, 2009 and the prime contractor is General Atomic Aeronautical Systems of San Diego, California. The original Predator A, MQ-1, began life as a reconnaissance platform and was only later modified to carry Hellfire and Titank missiles. The Predator B, MQ-9 Reaper, was a second-generation Predator developed from the beginning to carry weaponry but sported improved performance capabilities. The third generation of Predator, Predator C, Avenger, is more in line with the current and upcoming crop of fifth-generation fighters being deployed by the USAF. Working in conjunction, this will put the USAF leaps ahead of any Air Force in existence. One positive selling point of the new Avenger UAV is its use of existing Predator A and Predator B ground-based infrastructure meaning that the US military would need only to procure the Avenger itself and any new available software to run her as they did with the previous Predator offerings. The Avenger makes use of an internal bomb bay to help keep its radar signature to a minimum. She has been cleared to carry the AGM-114 Hellfire anti-tank missile system, common to the Hughes AH-64 Apache attack helicopter, the GBU-24 Paveway-3 laser-guided bomb, the GBU-31 joint direct attack munition, turning conventional drop bombs into guided threats, and GBU-38 small diameter bombs, bombs designed to improve ordnance carrying capabilities of a given aircraft. Payload is limited to 3,000 pounds of internal ordnance. Weapons in the internal bay can be substituted with sensor, electronic and radar equipment as needed. The Avenger is fully capable of tackling both combat and reconnaissance-oriented missions, limited only by mission role and payload carry.